Brian Tracy said, you are the architect of your own destiny. You are the master of your own fate. You are behind the steering wheel of your life. There are no limitations to what you can do, have, or be, except the limitations you place on yourself by your own thinking. How true is that statement? Do you know that we can limit ourselves, our lives, by our current state, where we are in life? I have the perfect example of that by something that happened to me and my kids years ago. I have five kids. It was late, about 8 o'clock at night. We were coming home from school and basketball games. My kids were tired and hungry and hangry. If you're a mom, you know exactly what that is. Decided to try out this new Mexican food restaurant because we love Mexican food. Pulled up to the menu board, got our order, pulled up to the intercom, rolled down my window, and the rule of my car is when my window goes down, you have to be quiet because I have to focus. I gave about two orders and my kids began to giggle after the second order and I kind of did the mom thing and I said, y'all be quiet. Gave my third order, my fourth order, I was doing great, but I noticed nobody was talking back to me. So I looked right into the intercom and I said, hey, are you getting this? Is anybody there? Are you hearing what I have to say? <laughs> as soon as I said that, my kids started dying laughing. My son was bowed over in the back seat laughing. My girls were laughing. My daughter in the front seat had a tear running down her face. She was laughing so hard. Honestly, it made me mad. And I thought, what in the world? And I finally said, what is going on? My son kind of contained himself a little bit and he leaned up and got right next to my ear and he said, Mom, you are talking to a garbage can. <laughs> True story. I thought, no way. I looked out the window and there it was, a big garbage can with a spout. I thought that was the intercom. I thought, Lord, let no one be in that restaurant because beyond the garbage can was the restaurant. I looked in there, the whole family dying laughing. People behind me in cars, they weren't honking, they were laughing so hard. <laughs> I was glad to bring some laughter that day. I was so embarrassed, but what I did is I just pulled up a few feet ahead to the real intercom with the real person and I gave my order. We pulled over into the parking lot and we had a really good laugh and we made a really good memory that will definitely last a lifetime. I want you to see that I had gotten so busy doing life that I failed to see that I had steered myself and parked myself in front of a garbage can. Not only that, I was talking to it. <laughs> it probably stank to high heaven, I didn't even know it. The reality was, all I had to do was pull up a few feet ahead to where there was actual life. Now, let me just bring that all back to everyday living. The way we start our day can set the standard for what kind of day we will have. So here are a few good questions that we can ask ourselves when we wake up every day. Am I parked in front of negativity with a glass half empty attitude? Am I parked in front of defeat, feeling like I'm never going to see victory? Am I parked in front of chaos, feeling like everything in my life is in disarray and just everything but peace? Am I parked in front of stress, being tired and worn out before I even get out of bed? Or maybe am I parked in front of heartache and disappointment that makes me feel worthless and like I'm never going to get a break? See, whether we realize it or not, where we've steered our life and parked our lives will greatly impact our outlook on life. It causes us to see things either negatively or positively. It shapes our days and it shapes our attitude. It can affect us emotionally. It can affect us mentally and spiritually. Scripture gives us insight on that. In fact, it shows us we have a choice in how we can live our days. The scripture says, I have set before you life and death, blessing and curses. Therefore, he gives us the answer, choose life. Now listen so that you and your descendants might live. Let me make that more clear. So that you and your children may live. So that you and your offspring may live. We have both a choice and a vital part to play in how our days will go by where we steer our lives, where we steer our thoughts. We can either choose the negative and focus on everything going wrong, or we can begin to see through eyes of faith and hope and find the good in situations. We can choose to dwell on the problems or on the possibilities. Sometimes all it takes is just a simple adjustment in our thinking. 
It's deciding to drive toward life to make our days better. So how do I make that practical? You can say something like this. I'm not staying in this negativity. I'm putting my life in drive and I'm steering somewhere to position myself where there's an abundance that God has promised me. See, you're choosing to get out of the negative parking spot. You're choosing to be the architect of your life and drive towards life. You may say this, you know what? My marriage may not be in unity right now, but I'm choosing not to park in front of the disunity. I'm choosing to park in front of complete restoration. Now you may say, April, that doesn't make sense. You know, it's not, it's not complete restoration. Well, you're driving in faith. You're not going to camp out in negativity. You're not going to camp out in front of all the problems and all of the reasons why it won't work out. You got to use faith, put your faith and drive and steer towards what God's word says about your situation. Now, here's another one. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about how bad my kids might be doing. No, my kids may not be serving God or living right right now, but I'm saying I'm putting it in drive. I'm steering toward life. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You may feel completely overwhelmed right now, but you can actively choose to steer your life in front of God's perfect peace. Sure, that takes faith. Sure, that takes action driving and putting yourself not in front of the garbage of chaos, but in front of God's word, which is abundant life. See, when we make these choices, we're setting the standard in our lives. When we make these choices, we're setting the standard in our homes. We are driving our families into the life that God has designed for them. It all begins with you. It all begins with me. Pablo Picasso said, action is the foundational key to all success. You got to put feet to your faith. You can't stay stuck in front of the garbage can of life. Become the architect of your destiny. Stop limiting yourself to living an okay life and do what it takes to set you and your family up for success. And just remember, if you've parked your life in the wrong place, all you have to do is pull up a few feet ahead to where there's life, joy, fulfillment, and an incredible future. It doesn't mean it won't be without challenges, but you have to do your part to make sure you're positioned in front of life, in front of God's words, God's promises. Don't listen to everything negative going on around you. Don't limit yourself to where you are right now. Don't dwell on the difficulty. Dwell on the God who can get you through the difficulty. Hope you've enjoyed it today. I hope and pray these videos are a blessing to you. My goal is to bring life and hope to you and know that, you know, with God on your side, you can do anything. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do that today. And until next time, I hope you have an amazing day.